Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as well as discussing the business side of esports, I really want to touch on performance as well as that's an area that I've really grown to love and be fascinated and, and curious with uh, ever since I, I started to, to really try and lose weight uh, on January 28th and I'm down, I'm down a little bit of weight now, you can see that if you go back to my earlier videos like when I started the Adam Fitch podcast, rest in peace and, uh, and in keeping with that, the, the video um, today is about Razer's Respawn brand. So I think it's classed as like a lifestyle brand, but it's, it seems more like consumer products, not peripherals, your mice keyboard, mouse ma mouse pads and such, more so actual products you can consume. So having already sponsored Dignitas and, and, and pushing its kind of energy drink that way, I think it's like a powder drink, which is supposed to help like mentally stimulate you and prepare you for matches. Today, as of the 8th of September, Respawn by Razer has announced um, its own esports and gaming gum, which it's called Respawn by Five, and there are seemingly let's see, I think there are yeah there are three three flavors: so cool mint, pomegranate, pomegranate, watermelon, and tropical punch. Now it may seem trivial; it may seem like you're just kind of putting the gamer or esports kind of label on something and selling it that way which kind of ties in to the control video I did yesterday where basically it's a meal replacement brand that's targeted at gamers but there's nothing specifically for gamers there which is just kind of a clever positioning that they've done tapping into that market which is obviously growing and incredibly popular and more and more companies are looking to serve that those audiences basically I think it's another one of those in a sense because if you look down it, it uh, like a description for respawn by five says Chew, focus, win, which is a mad tagline anyway, but it says elevate your play with a gum to maintain mental focus and reaction time. It has green tea extract and B vitamins, and then long-lasting flavors of five gum to keep you razor sharp while gaming, apparently. So I'm looking to see if there's anything gaming specific here. There is nothing. So I, I think it more goes into just like the performance side in general and coincidentally it may sound like bullshit but it's true maybe a month ago i was actually looking into whether chewing gum helps with productivity whether it kind of gets you in the zone or if there's, there's the act of it uh, can help at all whether it's just suppressing hunger or, or just um i don't know doing it autonomously maybe help with um productivity and focus in some way and i actually saw that there had been a couple of studies and um the study suggested that there could be a link between the two so between your productivity slash performance and chewing gum but i don't think it's definitive by any means now this is this is just an interesting case of look we're partnered with dignitas and dignitas created a nice little video to go along with it and you know, pushing out the uh, the kind of products, the new products through an organisation through a specific a specific team. So, while it's only with Dignitas at the moment, it's got a big audience, a legacy brand, legacy organisation in esports. Obviously, it's it's interesting to see what they're moving into now, and and what once was in my mind at least like a G Fuel competitor, now kind of launches its own brand new kind of category i don't think there are really many people doing stuff this way uh, especially if they're going to continue bringing out new products which let's let's be real they exist elsewhere but they're just packaged up for gamers and for esports you know i i'm i assume it's that case it's that that is the case and it is that way and there are not many others doing it i actually can't think of any at all so while we've got the likes of G Science and Flytro creating apps, and we've got like Adamus having its own um, esports training facility and such, and obviously Coach Taylor Johnson and, and the squad over at State Space doing amazing things with Aim Lab, all trying to help different aspects of performance. It seems like Razer now is not only saying, look, our, our peripherals can help you with performance, help you to play better, but also our lifestyle, our consumer products can do so as well with our powdered energy drink and now with our three flavors of five gum. So, yeah, I, again, I, I think it's more just clever positioning and capitalizing on the gaming and esports market because you like, you, you like feeling part of something, right? And it's, it's nice to have something that's built for you. And, and the positioning kind of does that if you do take yourself seriously as a gamer or competitor or even a professional player, you know? So no doubt we'll see sponsored um, tweets and, and ads and such from Dignitas players chewing on gum saying, about to go into, into a match at x event uh this gum it really helps me out and then if they if they win a match or a series perhaps they can go look i was chewing this the entire time maybe it's a coincidence and and we was going to win either way but 
nonetheless, like I do feel more productive, more honed in, more focused when, when playing. So I don't know. It's just an interesting little thing. Not a huge video, not a shit ton to break down realistically, um, but just a, a, an interesting little nugget, a little bit of news that dropped today. I thought I'd break it down a little bit or more, more likely just enlighten people because I don't think it's the kind of story. So like this announcement, I don't think this is the kind of story that's going to be widespread across esports, but it is kind of trivially fun and it's, it's just interesting, especially to myself and other performance people, I guess, uh, to see Razer or any brand at all actually kind of bringing these products over and aiming them at the gaming and esports marketplace from a perspe uh, performance perspective. So yeah, that, that's all we've got for today. Again, I'm not going to break down my, my schedule yet for videos, but this is the second uh, day of videos in, on the trot. Uh, that's all I'm going to say on that front. I hope you're all doing well, wearing a mask, washing your hands, staying safe, and uh, yeah, just, just keep having fun. Go for walks where you can, you know, mix things up a bit because just being in the like the same four walls all the time can be a little, yeah, you know, I, I feel you on that one. It's, it's not ideal. So make sure you get out, get some sun if you can make sure you're also following safety protocols and such and i'll see you very soon for another video cheers